So I'm going to be deriving the general equation for the area of any polygon circumscribed around a circle. And that circle has a radius of 1 in this case. So you're going to draw the center of your circle and you're going to connect line segments from the center of that circle to each of the vertices of the polygon. And then what you're going to want to do is draw a height, drop a height right here, which you know is 1 because the radius of the circle is 1. And then what you're going to do is you want to find, to find the area of this whole polygon, you're going to want to start by finding the area of this. And the way you can do that by finding the angle is that you know that around the center of this circle is 360 degrees. So you divide that by two times the number of sides. So you go 360 degrees divided by two times, in this case there are one, two, three sides in a triangle, times three, which ends up giving you 60. And the reason you go two times three and not just three, because three will just give you this value. But if you divide, multiply this bottom part by two, which is the same as saying 180 over three, you get 60 degrees and so you get 60 right here which makes that 30 and when I first did this my general tendency was just to use the special right triangle relationships which isn't actually a great idea because that won't work for every single polygon past I think the second the first two because the, they just when you drop this height it just doesn't form perfect ratios anymore so you're gonna want to use the trig trigonometric ratios because right here, you know, because this height is 1, you know the tangent of this. To find the area of this whole triangle, you're going to want to find 1 half base times height, obviously. You know the height that we dropped is 1, so that just goes away. So you get 1 half of the base. Now the base, you're going to want to use this angle right here, the 60. And because the tangent of it is opposite over adjacent, which is the 1, so your opposite over adjacent, which is the tangent, is going to give you half of the base. So you need two of these to make the full base. So the base in this case, the base is tangent of 60 degrees. But like I said, you're going to want two of those because you have one, two, because you're trying to find the area of this whole triangle right here. And then this just cancels out to give you tan 60, which is the area of this triangle. So every time, so right in this case, you're going to multiply that by three, three sides. That's the number of sides because that's the number of triangles you have. You're going to have three tan 60 is the area of this polygon, this triangle. And then for the second, for the square, you're going to draw your segments to the vertices. You're going to do the same thing in dropping a height knowing it's 1, and then we're going to do 180 divided by 2 times, or sorry, 180 divided by n, which is the number of sides, 1, 2, 3, 4, 180 over 4 is 45 degrees, and so you know this angle right here is 45, and again you might, you might think to use special right triangle relationships but it's better to use the trig using this so again one half base times height will give you this cancels out because it's one so you have one time one half sorry times the base which is two times the tangent because tangent of 45 is adjacent over or sorry opposite over adjacent and this is 1, so it's just the opposite side. So 2 tan 45, 2 tan 45 times half of the height, which is 1, gives you the, the area of this small triangle. So these cancel out. And then you multiply that by the number of sides you have, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. So let me write it up here right next to this. 4 tan 45. And then looking at this, you want to see 
when I started looking for the general rule, you want to look for what you're having in common and you use the number of sides every time. Where do you first use it? You first use it when you're trying to find what angle this is right here or what angle this is. You divide 180 divided by the number of sides you have. And that gives you this angle. And what did we do with this angle? We took the tangent of it. So you take the tangent of that angle and you multiply it. You would take two, you, to get the area, you do one half times two times this. And But that cancels out like we did right here. So you have tan one, 180 over n. And then you multiply that by the number of sides, which is n again. So you're going to end up with this right here. Because like here, when you find, when you first find the area for this, you multiply that by how many of these triangles there are, which is, will always be the number of sides you have. Thank you.